Good morning. Sunday morning. I've had an egg sandwich, a cup of tea and a fag. I'm going back to bed again in a minute. You know, stay up for this place like a fucking morgue on a Sunday. So anyway, I'm going to jump about now. And uh, one day, uh, on containers, the boss told me to go to Seaforth Docks at Liverpool and pick this container up, and it weren't there. He said, hang on, I'll ring Nipress at Felixstowe. He come back and says, no, it's gone. So I suppose you better come back empty. That fucking cost me a fortune. Well, these container trailers, when you've got a container on, the skeleton, and uh, lift axle up on the unit and lift axle up on the trailer and uh, it had been a hard day I worked in a good mood and uh, pulled in the service area and there were and we had to park much because it was quite late so I parked where the trucks parked up for the night and the bloke said you've got paid parking mate I said look I'm only stopping for about 10 minutes for a quick cup of tea and he says, well, sorry, if you don't pay for parking, I'll put a clamp on it. I says, well, fucking go ahead then. And I marched off and uh, washed my hands, had a cup of tea, you know, a bit of summer, and I come out and he'd put a clamp on it. He says, I told you, i clamp it. You're not going anywhere. I says, really? So I jumped in the cab, started it up, flicked a switch, the lift actually on the unit with a clamp attached, lifted up and I drove off. <laughs> he says, oi, come back. I says, fuck off. <laughs> and got back to the yard and make the fitter, another Mick, uh, he soon burnt it off and chopped it in the scrap metal bin. <laughs> yeah, up yours, eh? Uh, down in Somerset, the accents down there, the old yokels. I took the truck in one day, again, and they said, well, he'd be all right yesterday, but he not all right today. And uh, they refer to all inanimate objects as he and they refer to themselves as I. Uh, what's his name? The driver said to me, please stop tired today, Arthur. And I was doing a job on the truck once, and uh, Mick, the bot, uh, Mick, the boss down there, says, what are you doing, Arthur? I says, he says, oh, good ideal. I says, no, it's a good idea. Mick, yeah, yeah, he says, a good ideal. I says, Mick, the words idea and ideal are two entirely separate meanings, but no, that's how they say it, it's in some sense. Anyway, one night parked up at Cumberland Basin in Bristol and I hadn't got any water for a cup of tea. I thought, oh dear, you know, I got my little gas burner and a kettle. And uh, there was a truck from Old Trafford with a tall grey air driver looked in his fifties and he got a water thing on the back of his truck. So I ran across and says, uh, can you spare me some water, mate, for a cup of tea? He says, well, I suppose so. If you've got anything to put it in. He says, yeah, I'll get me kettle. So I got me kettle and he put some water in. He said, is that enough? I says, yeah, thanks very much. I thought, he's a bit rude. And that night, uh, a retired driver turned up. I used to meet him regularly and we used to go in the pub for a drink because I do, I did at that time like beside cider. Sometimes there's a shandy, but, you know, I do like cider. And he says, oh, she's here again, look. I says, who? He says, the tranny there from Old Trafford. I says, you're joking. I asked him for some water earlier, and the egg sandwiches were beaten. I said, I asked him for some water earlier, and he was rather rude. He says, oh, no, that's his butch act. He says, he's got all the female gear on. I says, really? He says, yeah, go and have a look. I'll get you pinting, yeah? I says, yeah, okay, mate, I'll be in there in a bit. So I walked over to this Old Trafford truck, <coughs> the driver sat on the near side <coughs> seat, of course, <coughs> and I sidled up, and the door was open, and I looked in. Now, let me think. Uh, he sat there with a wig on, eyeshadow, mascara, lipstick, false boobs, tight blouse, uh, tight skirt, stiletto wheels, fishnet stockings, and he opened his legs and uh, red panties and a big ball, Chilly says. Oh, hello again, big boy. Do you fancy a nice girl? I says, not tonight, Josephine, thanks. <laughs> you look like fucking old Buddy Riley. Can you remember all? Arthur Lucan and Kitty. Either that or the scene from a very bad pantomime. 
Well, I wouldn't sneer and say, Phew, disgusting, you know, wear the clothes person on. It's just not my scene. Imagine if I put female gear on, I'd look like a fucking old bag. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, of course, with me being an old fashioned lorry driver who started in the 60s before Eddie Stobart was nowhere to be seen and all each rates were excellent and I was up and down Scotland all the time. Then in the 70s along came Stobart with his flash foreign vehicles, cut all the haulage rates, which was responsible for putting a lot of uh, haulers out of business and drivers out of work. And fights used to break out between the drivers. And uh, I'm afraid that's it. So this bollocks on the telly about Eddie Stobart, I wouldn't watch it on principle. My boss in Nottingham said that if Stobart went bust, a lot of people would laugh. Well, of course, now the Dolly Birds, a uh, big scanner board up at Felixstowe, docks one day and this Dolly Bird came tripping across with a ship in there, it's like, and she looked like a fucking Karen Carpenter. And uh, that's it, the women can drive them now, as you said, they, uh, didn't you? The, the women driving the trucks now, well, they couldn't have driven them in the old days when I started. Uh, power steering, oh, forget it, you have to get your side of the seat and use muscle power and at the end of the day after you press that heavy clutch up and down your left knee used to hurt. Uh, Synchro mesh gears, oh, forget it, the old crash boxes. Uh, I used to like the ZX box, David Brown box, you know they go in a circle, not one, two and then across three, four, one, two, three, four, uh, but anyway uh, at this customer, this uh, truck pulled in, and the lady, well, the doors on the shipping containers can be rather heavy. She says, would you give me a hand to open the doors, please? I says, no, you're the driver. Do it yourself. If you can't manage it, get back in the kitchen where you belong. <laughs> she says, you're a male chauvinist pig. <laughs> and afterwards, you know, uh, I apologise, and I bought her a coffee, and we laughed about it. She says, well, you are. Pig, I said, I know. I said, You were right, Doc. And another customer, I uh, backed up to the hole in the wall at Sony at Thatcham in Berkshire. And uh, of course, they came out with the bolt cutters and opened the doors, and I backed up to the hole in the wall. And uh, after they'd emptied it, you know, bang, bang on the container. So I shut the doors and went in to get the notes. And this woman says, uh, driver, a uh, number of cartons have been opened and items taken out. You better tell your boss. I said, what the hell's it got to do with him? It's a sealed container. I just picked it up at the docks and brought it here. She says, she says well, there's going to be trouble. I says, what the hell are you on about, woman? I said, phone the shipping agents and tell them. Don't tell me. Uh, I didn't use bad language, which was unusual for me. Mm. And oh, so many things happened with Nick down in Somerset, where I worked for 13 years, then came back to Nottingham, and uh, I could go on for a long time, but uh, I don't know, boy, you know, I'm going back to bed now. Yeah, read a bit more from my book. I might get up about midday, perhaps, and go up to Tesco on my scooter. Because what do I want? I do like a cheese and tomato sandwich. I buy them large beef tomatoes, or the steak tomatoes, and get my sharp knife and cut a slice off so I need to go there for one of them. Of course our Tesco hasn't got a cafeteria like most supermarkets which is a pity. So I sit outside on the scooter having a fag and usually see somebody I know and since I stopped taking this quinine I stopped jumping like a startled rabbit. Yeah, I feel so much better. God, hey, don't touch quinine. Especially supposed to stop night crabs and it don't. Right, I'm going back to bed. So you lot can fuck off. <laughs> oh yeah, I have been told before about my dreadful language. Well, I've said before, you know, uh, I have to say it like it is. Because lorry drivers don't say, oh dear, oh fiddlesticks, I've stuck my foot. I mean, we say, oh, fucking hell, you know, what a bastard. And you have to say it like it is. It just sounds stupid if I if said it any other way. Right, I'm off. Cheers.